My name's uh, Charles Carey. Uh, I was called Bud whenever I, uh, I guess you'd call it a nickname. And uh, I was uh, raised around 14 Mile Creek. I really was born at uh, Sh Round Shaded Grove, you know, school. Well, I had a uh, couple of sisters. They were around me quite a bit, but my brother was, uh, had polio and uh, he was in Oklahoma City Hospital. Finally, he got out and went to Sequoia. And my mother was named Nora Alexander, a maiden name. And uh, my dad was Jim Carey. My mother died when I was about three. I guess went from family to family, stayed with families, other families, and then uh, uh, that, w that wasn't, uh, that was kind of unhappy because you, you was mixed up, you know, without your par parents a lot of times. When I got a little bit bigger, well, I, I really used to like, like to swim. I'd, I'd stay in water, you know, all day long if I, if I had the opportunity. Over by the uh, Halbert, uh, that, uh, there's a creek there that uh, we had a swimming hole there. I had a lot of fun swimming, but uh, a lot of times uh, uh, people that own the property why, would uh, try to chase us out. You know? <laughs> We'd fish in, you know, uh, other parts, but not in that swimming hole. Oh, we'd just get any kind of pole that was straight and and uh, put a line on it and, and fish with it. I guess I knew all kinds of uh, uh, edible greens that, you know, grew at that time because uh, uh, we depended on a lot of that, you know, we, uh, to, uh, for survival and stuff. Like uh, poke salad and, and, and uh, lamb's water. And, and it's uh, delicious, I mean, you know. Something like, uh, looked like a uh, vine uh, used to grow that uh, uh, kind of tastes like asparagus. And it was tender and real, you know, And but you can't find a lot of that stuff anymore. The stores had all kinds of food, but you just didn't have the money to buy it with. Sometime county would uh, 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 have uh, surplus uh, food or something, but uh, everybody had to walk, you know, for, for things like that. And sometimes we wouldn't even get there, you know, to, in time to get any. Like that time we left uh, Arkansas, uh, where my granddad lived, uh, we uh, hitchhiked. Dad and my, one of my sisters, you know, one of my younger sisters was with me, and uh, we hitchhiked, and, and, uh, and we walked a lot. You'd almost think he was homeless at that time, but uh, we even slept in, out in the woods, at, uh, you know, to in between time. I, I got interested in looking for uh, possums and getting their hides and, you know, uh, uh, climbing trees. The, I guess we got a lot of possum hides like that. And by climbing a tree and looking in the holes up there, there'd be a possum in there sleeping or something like that. Up about 25 cents or maybe lower than that, 15 cents or something like that. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, didn't get too much for them. I love eat possum. <laughs> uh, I used to stay around my uncles, and they uh, they'd uh, they'd cook the possum, and well, it was good during the time it was uh, uh, hot and freshly cooked. But after it cools off, it don't taste too good. Skunks would be under cactus plants, and uh, we'd we'd uh, get them for hides. They wasn't they wasn't very much money in that, but I mean, you know, it's a lot of fun looking for them. But Dad had a had a shotgun. Uh, it was all wore out. You know, you know how to sh one of those shotguns, 
go from side to side, you know, and it's, it's just like that. It, it, it wasn't, uh, it really wasn't working too good, but still yet to uh, kill something with it if he, you know, see it. See it. Uh, I, I seen him shoot a rabbit one time on the hill over there, but that's, that's kind of unusual because there wasn't too many rabbits at that time. Went to school in Lost City. Uh, a lot of times you go to school and you, you didn't have no lunch. I mean, you know, to take, you know, and, uh, and you felt bad about it because maybe some other kids had something to eat and you, di you didn't. So as far as uh, uh, a bath, you had to, you know, you, you know, and when you don't have no running water, hot running water, you've got to use a tub or something. We had to carry our water from, uh, from a spring and uh, drinking water and cooking water and stuff like that. Sometime you can uh, uh, trade uh, fish for milk or something like that. They done that too. I remember remember that a lot of people uh, done their own sewing, at, um, you know, clothing stuff, but uh, they didn't have no clothes to wear. Printed uh, uh, flour sacks because flour came out with, uh, you know, that was printed and uh, so it could be used for something like that, I guess. And I think that was uh, something that uh, somebody thought of that, uh, that uh, was thinking about uh, people like, uh, you know, that didn't have anything. Some kind of a steel hoop that come off a wagon uh, and you made your own uh, uh, driver that uh, you put a piece of tin on the lower part where the, uh, and you put little uh, sideboards on it where you could guide that uh, hoop around with that stick. And that was, uh, that was a, uh, something that uh, you don't see anymore. And then we had cultivated wheels and, and uh, we'd uh, make uh, wooden axles. They wouldn't last, last very long because uh, they wasn't strong enough and, uh, and uh, coast down hills uh, went pretty good for a while until the axle would break and, and, and uh, we'd, we'd uh, have to jump off or something. We used to live by the hill over and uh, they used to say they, uh, uh, at certain times you could see a, a house uh, uh, where the little people lived, you know. I never was too superstitious, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, I didn't ask too many questions on that. <laughs> Only time I was scared was whenever the, my sisters would, uh, you know, uh, leave me in the dark or something, you know, scare me, you know.